intro to parallel circuits. All right, this time I want to connect two bulbs to my batteries, but I don't want to do it in series because if one bulb breaks, then the other one won't light up as well. We can fix that problem by using parallel circuit. And I'm going to need a little bit of copper exposed in the middle of my wire just like this. I'm going to use my wire uh, stripper. I'm going to find the right size and put that on the center of the wire and then I'll pull really hard and it'll move that rubber coating down so that the wire is exposed in the center. I'm going to wrap that around the screw on one of the bulbs and then I'm going to tighten it down with my screwdriver. I'm also going to do that on the other side. There are other ways to do this. You could use two separate wires and wrap both of them around the screw, but then you have the more of a chance for it coming apart later on. This way I know it's not going to come apart. Now I'm going to take the ends of two wires and connect the last bulb. I'm going to hook them so it makes it a little bit easier to connect to the screw. The goal of a parallel circuit is to split the current. So you can see it's coming from the battery, going to the first bulb, and then also splitting and going on to the next bulb and then coming back. That way then if one of the bulbs is broken, the other one still has a path for the current to get to and can still light. Alright, so I'm going to wire up this last part to the wiring connector for the battery pack. I'm going to twist the wires together and then tape them so that they don't touch any other metal and have a short circuit. Notice I don't have the batteries hooked up. I don't really want to have batteries and electricity flowing if my wiring and my circuit's not finished. So always make sure your batteries are unhooked until you're ready to plug it in and try it out. We're all finished wiring up. You can see it almost looks like a figure eight. Let's plug the batteries in and both bulbs light up. Now watch as I remove one of the light bulbs. If I did this on a simple circuit, the other bulb would die. But with a parallel circuit, the other one still has a flow of, of current so it can still work. That is one of the major benefits of a parallel circuit. All right, so let's disconnect the batteries and add in a motor in parallel. I'm going to use the alligator clips and clip onto that last bulb on either side so that the circuit will be split from that last bulb. 
and now I'm going to connect the motor with alligator clips. And now I'm ready to test it out. Plugging the battery back in and we'll see that all three light and the motor turns.